All right, so we're gonna be putting the blue board and vapor barrier in today. Um, this is just that first sheet just sitting in there. Um, I went and picked up eight more sheets of, uh, it's not blue board, but it's the same stuff, just a different color. Um, and then I've got a 10 by 100 uh, roll of six mil plastic. So that'll be folded in half, so it'd be five by 100. And that'll be the vapor barrier going all the way around. Um, that's four feet tall, so we'll have a foot of extra vertically. And then all the way around is gonna be about 80 feet, so we'll have an extra 20 feet um, going around. These sheets that I have here, these are old. Um, I've had these for a few years. I got them for the tiny house and ended up not using them. Um, some of them are one inch and some of them are two inch, um, but in total we'll have four inches surrounding the whole building. So we'll either double up the twos or add the ones to make a full four inches all the way around. All right, so my trench wasn't perfectly flat. It was a little lower than it needed to be. Um, so we just used a couple shovelfuls of dirt, kind of shim up both corners, and that got all the boards nice and level and at the right elevation off the tires. All right, so we got the first three sections of blue board in. Uh, you can see we doubled it up. This is four inches, four inches. That one over there is actually only three inches um, just because of the amount of boards we had. Um, and you can see we kind of staggered the seams here, um, kind of overlapped them. So we're gonna wrap the vapor barrier over, attach that to the top, and then we'll be good to move around and continue. All right, we're making some progress moving around with the thermal wrap and vapor barrier. Uh, we're just coming to this other corner over here. Um, we're going to have to notch out some of the blue board and probably cut the plastic to get through the through to the other side of the culvert there. But so far, so good. It's going pretty smooth. Uh, the, sort of the method, we're just putting the blue board in, wrapping it over, matching the, the fold of the plastic on the top, and then we're just pushing a nail through. We tried duct taping it, but the duct tape was not sticking to the back side of the foam board. So just pushing a couple nails through on each board. Um, it's working pretty well. So this is what it looks like from the inside. Just got that plastic folded over there. You can see we just pushed nails through. Uh, I'm not too worried about any water getting in there. The next layer of insulation and vapor barrier will be shingled correctly so that any water will flow off and over. Um, this will be the big space for the water line to come out and it'll go through that blue board and it'll pop out to the water tank. It's gonna be buried back here. Got the whole vapor barrier in, all the insulation's in. Uh, we're gonna take a quick lunch and then come back and kind of clean up the plastic there and then start backfilling. All right, so a couple days have gone by. Um, I didn't show any of the backfilling. It was just moving dirt with the tractor, but we got it all filled on the west side. I did not backfill against the north end of the building. Um, the water tank's gonna go right here. So you can see that water line's coming through blue board and vapor barrier right there. Um, I also didn't completely fill it on this side. I don't want it to snap off. Um, so this will stay until that water tank goes in. But everywhere else, I leveled across and then just piled dirt on top. You can kind of see if I were to do it again, this was all the way to the end of the blue board here, the plastic. Um, I'd, I'd probably wrap a little more over, um, probably overhang it, I don't know, a few inches, because when we started piling the dirt on, it would pull the plastic down. So this side over here, I'm just kind of making a little ramp. Um, this is how I'm getting dirt up onto the berm so that we can pound tires. Uh, you can see that sixth course is pretty much all pounded. I got part of the seventh course up. East side, kind of same thing as the other side just leveled across and then dirt piled on it. So 
I'm going to end the video here. Uh, my work contract has started two weeks early, so I'm going to be heading back home. Um, I was hoping to get that water tank in and another couple courses of tires done, but I have to head back to work, so this is probably how it'll sit for a little bit. Um, hopefully I can come out here in a few weekends and get that water tank installed and finish up those tires.